Mike, uh, we were just talking about who should be the highest paid player in the league. If we take away quarterbacks here, who would you put in that position? Well, if it's a, if it's a football decision, you've got to look at pass rushers, I think. If you're talking about what kind of an impact someone can have on a team from a marketing standpoint, selling tickets, et cetera, then maybe you look at an Odell Beckham Jr., a guy that excites a fan base, a guy that turns a team into a national brand like Odell Beckham Jr. would do. But I, I say typically it goes quarterback and then pass rusher. Do you think this is going to be a big deal with Odell Beckham saying he would like to be? There's nothing wrong with saying I'd like to be the highest paid player, but when you demand to be the highest paid player, then it becomes an issue, which I don't believe he's demanded anything yet. But where are we going with contract talks with Beckham? Well, here's the challenge for the Giants, because they have Odell Beckham Jr. for two more years before he would be eligible for the franchise tag. I think the closer he gets to the franchise tag, Dan, the more likely he has a Kirk Cousins type of a realization that, you know what, I can make a lot more money and I can control my destiny if I just say I'm not doing a long-term contract. I'll mm. take the franchise tag in 2019. I'll take it in 2020. I'll take it in 2021. I'll keep making more and more money. And eventually you won't be able to sign me and I'll hit the open market. And I think that the Giants would be wise to put together a really good offer, get it on the table now, when he's only making $1.8 million this year and you're going to replace that with a huge payday, do it now before he starts to realize that he can play this out like Kirk Cousins did and make a lot more money that way. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.